I'm Storm Team 10 meteorologist Chris Michaels. Not much out there to help us cool down tonight outside of a few downpours around Ash County, North Carolina, trying to move up into areas west of Independence, well to the west of Galax, but moving into the into parts of Grayson County and heading up towards the north. That's the only game in town. Radar looking pretty quiet right now and it's going to stay that way as we go through the rest of the night. Limited rain chances on the way for us over the next couple of days. The heat and humidity continuing. That means a little time to cool down, especially at night. We were just outside. It is muggy out there. 81 right now in Roanoke. Temperatures only dropping into the low to mid 70s in Southside Lynchburg and the Roanoke Valley. Stray shower in the NRV with temperatures overnight only in the mid to upper 60s. Very mild and kind of muggy start for us on Monday and a mix of clouds and sunshine greeting us as we wake up tomorrow morning. Lunchtime, we're looking at a partly cloudy sky. Most of the area stays dry tomorrow, though I do have to let you know of the chance for maybe a spotty shower, especially west of the parkway. You can see the highlands standing a chance of a downpour or two over the course of the afternoon and the evening. Otherwise, plenty of dry time for us to heat up Yet again, temperatures across the board looking in the low to mid 90s. Lynchburg, Danville, Martinsville, Roanoke. We're in the mid to upper 80s in the New River Valley. Kind of a similar situation for us on Tuesday as highs get into the low to mid 90s. We are even in the upper 80s to near 90 in the New River Valley. So a very hot next few days for us. The humidity not helping us at all. When you combine the heat and the humidity, the heat index, or what things feel like between the hours of 2 and 6 could be anywhere from 96 to 102 in Roanoke and Lexington. Hotter in Southside, not quite as hot in the NRV and in the Highlands. So we mentioned that for you because we want you to be aware that working outside, playing outside, doing chores, you got to take it easy because heat index values, anytime they're around that triple digit mark, it could lead to cramps and some heat exhaustion. So just keep that in mind, especially as we're trying to enjoy our 4th of July. Temperatures topping out in the upper 80s and low 90s. By the time fireworks are going off, temperatures are in the upper 70s. And by that time, here's some things to bring with you. Bug spray, because it's going to be muggy, the winds are going to be calm, and the mosquitoes like that. Maybe a personal fan could help you out, especially early on. But an umbrella, probably not the uh, most desirable thing, just because it's not going to be raining a whole lot. Uh, through Wednesday, but a front is going to try and change that for us as we head into next weekend and possibly some cooler air coming in, by the way, by next Saturday and next Sunday. In the meantime, we are still dealing with the heat, still dealing with the humidity. We're near 92 on the 4th of July. Temperature still in the upper 80s to near 90 Thursday and Friday with hopefully fingers, toes and eyes crossed this weekend. <laughs> temperatures in the upper 70s to low 80s. Really hoping that that uh, holds true.